Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. What is good with y'all? Uh, I'm back on Dynasty Warriors 9. This time around, I'm going to be doing a gameplay commentary on Shaho Ba. And uh, I'm on free mode, and we're going to be playing the stage where you're supposed to save Shaho Ba, but I'm playing as Shaho Ba. Uh, but there's two Shaho. Okay, it's confusing because it's free mode. But there's two Shaho Ba's. Basically, we're trying to save ourselves, right? And what's interesting about this battle, it's actually a siege battle. So, this is probably what we can expect from a uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires siege battle, maybe? I don't know. We don't know. They're, they're pretty dry on news so far. Uh, it's been like two weeks, or coming up on three weeks, uh, since they've said anything, or since they've said anything uh, since the they released that one screen cap of the three strategists uh on top of the wall thing and that was part of the opening intro so it doesn't really mean anything all right anyways we gotta break the uh siege here because the thing that's the thing that's interesting about siege battles is that you can't actually use your grapple hook you can't cheese it you can't go straight up in the um yeah, you can't go straight up inside the castle and just kill him which was like one of the problems that a lot of people had was that there's really no point in doing all this but then they updated Dynasty Warriors 9 and they added the siege battles to it so maybe this is like a preview of what Dynasty Warriors 9 Empire is gonna look like who really knows uh huh so anyways I got Shaho Ba here he's using Guan Ping's weapon I have a bunch of attack speed on him, so he's attacking faster than he should be, which is good because we like fast-paced stuff. Oh my god. I always got to make sure to dodge these arrows that they rain down on me. Um, so in Siege Battles, you actually have like, oh my god, you actually have like designated units. Like there's an archer captain here, um, you can actually do something special with them. Let me see. Whistling arrow, yeah, so you can actually select them and then uh, use their arrows. I don't think it really does, it, it kills a lot of like troops, but it doesn't really do much. And then you can break these um, outposts, I believe. Let me try it. Just keep trying. There you go, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can break the outposts, which the engineers actually build them. I think they impede the uh, the progress of the ram, which I just saw got destroyed. So we're like supposed to build a ram. Oh yeah, I have bears here too. Uh, it was also added in an update, uh, the ability to have animal bodyguards, as well as an actual bodyguard. Uh, I don't have an actual bodyguard with me right now. These arrows are really laying it on me right now. So this engineer is trying to build a structure. I'm gonna let him build it actually. I'm gonna let him build it. Once it hits full circle, he should build something. He's gonna, he's gonna try and build something. Yeah, he built this thing. Which we don't want him to build because then he's on the enemy side. So why would we want him to build that? Why, why, are, why are our rams being destroyed immediately? Is it because there's structures all around? I don't know. It's still confusing to me. It's it's still really rough. It's like a very rough preview of like what siege battles can be. <clears throat> so there's a ram. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need some HP. Oh, I forgot. I didn't buy any HP. Oh, well, I have elixirs. Okay. Maybe I have to destroy all these outposts. Take wave attack! Think, think, think. Why is this not just being destroyed? Is this our tower? Wait, <laughs> you can't even destroy that one. That's like part of the battlefield. Okay. Get out of there. Let's use a Muso attack here. Tianshu. Oh my god, I'm melting. Oh my god, I'm melting it. What the hell? Is that the power of. I guess they're level 59, actually. I'm level 80. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. 
Oh my goodness, I, I just keep going. I lost my effect. I lost the Muso attack slash effect. That's how long I was going. Oh, shout to Oh, they made a ladder. Okay. We don't have to wait for the ram if we have a ladder then. Bing, bing, bing. Look, Shahaba is complimenting me. But I'm Shahaba. How does that work? I don't know. Jesus Christ, they're throwing rocks on me. Oh my god. Let me kill this guy. Okay, they're not letting me kill this guy. <laughs> they're like throwing st Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta climb this thing. I can't even fight. <laughs> oh my god, why am I climbing on the left side of the ladder? Okay, anyways, look at all these guys. They're ruining my party. Beep, beep. Okay. We cleared the walls. Uh, it looks right here. Oh, Li Fu. Oh, we have to fight him here. Yeah, defeat Sumo Wong, Li Fu, and Sumo Zhou. Not Sumo Zhao, Sumo Zhou. Uh, that's one down. We need to find the other two. Let's, go, let's see if we can find Shao Ba. He's right there. There he is. Assassins. We gotta save ourselves. Dude, Muso attack does so much damage. What the heck? Okay, I'm ready to go. I like Shao Ba's design because he looks like a goddamn knight. Uh, ever since like Dynasty Warrior Seven, he always looked like a goddamn like tank. It looked so ridiculous that I liked it. But um, he looked like a shade of paladin. So I always thought it was cool. Unique designs. All the Jin characters in Dynasty Warrior 7 actually got like really absurd designs. It differentiated them from every other faction because you know Jin faction is the last faction. They are the victors. Chao Ba is part of Jin, but then he's really should be part of Shu. Because I think he contributes more to the Shu uh faction, I believe. Because he he like betrays Jin. Or way, I guess. And then goes to uh, Shu. So I feel like he should be considered Shu. In fact, he has like Shu colors. Like, I'm wearing green. Teal green. Okay. That's Suma Zhou over there. I'll climb this. I could have just went around and climbed. I don't know. Oh my god, they're throwing rocks at me! Stop that. Oh my... They're relentless. They are actually relentless. Elixir. Think. Think, think, think. Oh my goodness, they just charged me off the wall. What is wrong with them? Good thing I have an elixir though. Think, think. Big wave attack! Yeah! Alright, base captain. I don't really need to kill you. Where are, where's Suma Zhou at? Did he fall down? Oh shit, I fell down. Oh my god, I fell down and I can't use the grappling hook. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Give me red hair. No, they broke the tower! Wait, did they? Did they? No, it's still here. Okay, thank god. Sumo Wong and Sumo... Oh my goodness. Okay, this is... This is getting real hectic now. I can see why they might have wanted to switch to siege battle oriented um, rather than like I guess field battles. It does add a sense of um, chaos. <laughs> yeah, siege battles are always chaotic. Suma Zhou is right there. Okay. Oh my goodness! They just appear out of nowhere. I mean, definitely. I hope that in Dinosaur Wars Nine Empires that um they don't just they, i hope that they add stuff to this right they don't just port this right over and that's basically it it shouldn't be like that if they want to like you know make it better because this is very bare bones the dynasty wars 9 update with the siege battle is very bare bones look at they try to get it they try to get me counter
Okay. Let's get up on these walls again. But this time, let's not get knocked down. Zuma Wong's right there. Oh my goodness. Launch. Yo. Yo. Think, think. I only need a single blow. I one shot him with my aerial Musa. Whoa. That was close. close. I've never been so happy to be alive. How about I pay you back by taking Tao Wong? Oh my god. Okay, we actually saved Shao Ba in this mission. I don't think you actually play this mission in Shao Ba story mode. So like you just see him die, I guess, or Oh actually no. I forget how the story ends. No, Shao Ba's story ends when he leaves Wei. You don't actually play as a Minshu, which is weird. Okay. Okay. Alright, now let's go take Tao Yang and end this. Uh, Tao Yang. Okay, we gotta fight Dung Ai and Zhang Hui and Wen Yang. The trifecta. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is right after. Um... No, wait, no. Yeah, wait, no, this is right after we. This is right after Suma Shur died, so Wei is in chaos right now. And Suma Zhao just took up the mandals. Is that the right word? Suma Zhao took up the throne, basically. Suma Zhao is now Grand Commander. Oh my god, he's right. Oh, Zhang Wei. <laughs> Elixir. Big wave. As far as Shao Ba's moveset, I mean, like, it's fairly simple. It's really straightforward, as all, like, giant sword movesets are. They're really straightforward. Um, slow, but I put attack speed, so it's not that slow. Whoosh! Oh my god, I destroyed his entire armor gauge. I remember the first time I saw Dinosaur Wars 9 gameplay, and I saw the armors. Like the the armor bar under their health bar, and I was like, "Oh, brother, it's gonna be so. It's gonna take so long to defeat an officer, and that does hold up. Like it, that did hold up. But as you can see, you can actually break their entire armor gauge with the counter. So they reward you by um, if they reward you if you get a counter off and use the actual like command prompts." So I guess that's like something. I guess. Bink, bink. Spin the win, baby. Push. Boom, boom. Oh man, I want to do an aerial move, so I didn't mean to do that. I think this will do it, though. Young eye. Oh, he blocked. Oh, fuck. Yo! It's going crazy right now. There you go. Executed. Oh, what are you guys? What are your guys' thoughts on like executions? They added that in Dynasty Warriors. No, they added that in Samurai Warriors Four. My thoughts on executions are like uh, they're pretty cool, actually. I kind of like them. It makes their health bars like smaller than they actually are. If that makes sense. But I don't like ending officers in the same exact way every single time, you know? So I guess that's the only downside is that if you kill officers the same way every single time with the execute button, it's going to look very bland. Oh yeah. I can't believe the timing. This is the uh just a little bit more and we would have broken through ways lines. The part in the story where they get a false report to retreat. Give up this once in a lifetime chance. But this emergency at Chengdu, what could have happened? I don't understand. But since it ordered the troops to return, it must be important. Regardless, let us hurry. The cuts in this game are like very far and few between, but some of them are pretty interesting. Lord Leo 
Leo Chan. What is it, Jiang Wei? That is what I would like to know. Just what happened here in Chengdu? I don't know what you are talking about. As far as I am aware, nothing at all has happened to Chengdu. What do you mean? Then why the command to return at once? Because we have traitor amongst us. And then they play Dynasty Warriors among us to figure out who the imposter is. Then who called us? And for what purpose? So somebody falsely used my own name to send an order. That is truly strange. That is truly strange. What on earth is happening here in Shu? What am I missing? I must find a way to figure out what's going on. Oh my god, look at the bears. Alright, well that is all for this uh, Shahoba gameplay commentary. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment and, or whatever. Subscribe <laughs> if you guys want to see more Dynasty Warriors content and you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Look at these bears, what the fuck?